What do you think Triple H's announcement on Thursday is? Internet running wild TNA is involved because what? they're on Endeavor Streaming and now are calling their events PLEs. Hmm. Seems ridiculous to me. Well, listen, I would not say it is impossible that WWE and and, uh, and TNA could potentially, possibly, maybe, be doing something together. Interesting. But uh, I don't know if that's what the announcement's going to be. Uh, the rumor, should I even say, should I even talk about rumors? Up to you, boss. A, uh, a potential business relationship, which actually could be TNA, or a uh, potential mania location for 2025. Those were the rumors. The Nashville Fairgrounds? But I do not know what <laughs> is... Uh, WrestleMania comes to the asylum. That announcement is going to be. That'd be something else now, wouldn't it? Uh... Has Brian ever smoked some Mary Jane? <laughs> I know this one. Well, you know, Mary... Oh, that kind of. Yeah. I you are talking about Miss... Uh... So anyway, uh, one time, I actually pulled a Bill Clinton. <laughs> I smoked and did not inhale. Isn't that what he said? I see. Yeah. We I thought were you were going to say a cigar, but go ahead. We were at Sonny's, <laughs> the late, great Sonny O'Mara's, uh, like Halloween or whatever party. Wow, that late. And we were, uh, we were imbibing in some alcohol. And uh, and he decided he wanted me and Vinny to smoke some weed. And uh, we were just hammered. And suffice to say, you know, it just didn't work. It didn't take. It didn't take. <laughs> and I was like, eh, not my thing. I hate the smell. I absolutely hate the smell. I mean, it's the worst. Absolute worst. So no, I am not a weedy. Is that a word? It is now. And sure. Vinny was there as well, actually. He also failed. I have no memory of that. Well, that's because it was a day that I think you had a Mike's Hard and you just got just so fucked up me off out. a yeah, cap full of that. Yeah. That was sad. <laughs> that's a true story. I do remember sitting there giggling as everyone yeah. was like, point, like pointing me. You had half a bottle. Half a bottle of Mike's Hard and Vinny was gone. Yeah. I thought I thought it was a Smirnoff Ice. It may something have been. Along those it, lines. it was something that was like, you know, 4.5% alcohol it, it, it was by that a lot of high schools could consume and not notice. It was, it was not uh, absinthe. It was not absinthe. It was not bourbon. No. Not much. No. Have you ever watched Australian Survivor? No, I have not. Can't say that I have. No. I, I have not. Uh, Tenacious P, thoughts on Swerve versus Garcia being booked for tomorrow's Dynamite. Swerve shouldn't lose. Garcia is finally getting his mojo back. Garcia lost, doesn't help his story. Well, I think Garcia is losing. Yeah. I yeah. think that they'll, uh, you know, there's got to be some story behind it. Possibly jumpstarts him joining the BCC. Yes, that could be it. Sure. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder they got to strap the rocket to Swerve. I. They kind of already. They may have, yeah. No, no. Let him go all the way. Well, beating, winning the Joe. title. Yeah, I, I don't. They don't usually do short title runs, but no. I guess they could. I mean, they do, they do have a uh, pay per view in three months, two months. I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. Are you going to WrestleMania? The tickets are astronomical. Well, if I went, I would get press access, so I would not be paying the astronomical prices. And the plan is, yes, we're going to go, and maybe do a live Q and A as well. So that is the current plan. Based on current storylines and their potential, which wrestlers across NXT, WWE, AEW do you think need to switch heel and face? Who Beautiful. could who, who could do with some teammates or a faction to help them grow? And is it too early for Billy Starks to win the Ring of Honor women's TV title? I expect her to win the TV title. The aforementioned Swerve should uh, turn babyface immediately. Yeah, I probably yeah. I guess I mean yeah. <laughs> it was ever only because everyone's cheering for him anyway, which is a very good reason. Right. There was someone, and it, Josh Briggs. I think Josh Briggs would be a tremendous heel. Well, he. It, I, I presume the Virgin's turning, but I think anything can happen. Yeah, they, they they did you know politely break up, so they are singles now. We'll see where it goes. Well, they've been they've been teasing issues for a while. That's true. But I I figured the Virgin was turning. Nothing better than an angry Virgin. That's <laughs> How this show started. <laughs> That's true, actually. Virtually. Let's see what else we've got. Who could be, uh, who should be a heel face? I don't know. See, the problem is, people go, well, you know, they're they're cheering Swerve, but it doesn't mean you have to turn. It, you're right, it doesn't mean they have to. But sometimes when you are being cheered 
so much that you're actually killing every baby face you face, well, that becomes a problem. And then maybe it's time that you should become a baby face. So I don't know if we're there yet, but... There's a... Uh, I'm looking at ProWrestlingFandom.com. I just Googled NXT roster, and this is what came up. And it has the roster, and it has a column for real name. And, uh, you know, Braun Breaker is Bronson Recksteiner. I think we all knew that. And uh, a few are blank. They don't know this person's real name yet, and that's fine. Except one of the people we don't know their real name is apparently Lexus King. Huh. I think I know it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm I know that confident. guy's name. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's see. Can you coordinate an all-star show starring Granny, Tom, Big Vinny V, and Dave, hosted by Craig and Brian sometime around Mania? <laughs> People always want... Listen, guys, I've been doing this a long damn time, okay? <laughs> a long time. And people have these ideas of shows they think they want to hear. Yeah. And yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, like, I know what would be a good show and what would be a train wreck. And not in a good way. Yeah, just... just... <laughs> people have watched for a Vinny and Dave show for years and years. And what happened is, I'd say hi to Dave. Dave would say hi to me. And I may not talk again for the next hour. Yep. Because people want to hear from Dave. And you would look at your computer and you would not be listening. And then he would ask you a question and you wouldn't know the answer. Because you weren't paying attention. That's entirely possible. I know you, Vinny. That's entirely possible. This, this all tracks. Let's see. Where is Mercedes going to end up? Well, I've already come out. I believe she'll probably be on Dynamite tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. I can't say 100%. I don't know for sure. But I do know this. And you know what? Hey, listen, she may not be there. But I know that there are people in WWE that think she's going to be there tomorrow. And I know there are people in AEW that think she's going to be there tomorrow. Doesn't mean she's going to be, but I think she's going to be there tomorrow. The first AEW of the new year, it just makes sense. Rand says, do you see yourself wrestling Nick Wayne before you really retire? I'm retired. I'm retired. I don't want to do any more. Didn't you already wrestle him? Nick Wayne? Yeah. I have, I have matches with Nick on the computer that we did in Buddy's school. Okay, but never like in front of a crowd. No. I see. Okay. No. Uh, let's see. SmackDown's Women Championship match for Mania. Will EO hold the title into, until then? Who is Bianca going to face? I actually have no idea what they do with SmackDown Women's title. I think the Raw title's pretty clear. Becky and Rhea. But, uh, I don't know what they're going to do for SmackDown. Any chance in the calendar year, Vinny and Craig will start watching WWE TV again? <laughs> well, they watch the pay-per-views. There's a chance. Yeah, I mean... I watched about 20 minutes of it last night, but um, I just, it's much it, better now. I, I know it's better. It's it's the time. It's the time, the hours of the day that I just don't have. Vinny, if Michigan wins on Monday, do you think Jim Harbaugh well, leaves for the NFL? And if so, where would be the best fit for him? I think if he goes to the Chargers, they win the AFC next season. Yeah, a lot of people think the... Uh chargers it's like just a coach away and uh i don't know maybe but uh uh i haven't really, I haven't really thought about it. i don't think about football as much these days uh i if i were him i would have stayed in michigan forever i would, he's comfortable there he's successful there i don't i don't, I don't see what the whole the hell what, what, what the rush is to leave except that he has a track record of burning out the people around him and they don't want to work with him anymore he doesn't want to work, doesn't want to work with them there's that there is that and if he's going to leave, you know, this this now would be a good time. He's not going to get any hotter as a candidate than he is right now. Uh, as for where he would go, I haven't put any thought on that. I don't know. Retired as in waiting for the right offer. Retired as I'm too old for this shit. I'm too old for this. It's ridiculous. What am I doing? Where did Jim Harbaugh fit? I'm looking at what the am I NFL doing? right now. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.